Here we'd like to demonstrate the drawing of a lathe part in the sketchpad using a mixture of AutoPath features which will automatically calculate tangency points and endpoints and direct inputs. Well, we're going to machine the part that you see on the screen and we're going to start at 0, 0 and go along the contour of the part up to the top coordinate here. So the first element that I'm going to select in my sketchpad menu is a line going up. I'm going to start at 0, 0 and I'm going to select polar because there are coordinates in here that I do not know. We have a 100 thousandths fillet going into a 27 degree line. So I'm simply going to input information that I know, which is the start point and the angle of the line. I'm going to select auto path. I'm going to enter my fillet, which is 100 thousandths, and then select an element that goes in this direction to represent the 27 degree line. Again, I'm going to only input the information that I know and then hit auto path. And the software automatically goes through and calculates the tangency points and gives me 100 thousandths radius. And now I can just continue along the contour with the element in this direction. And I'm going to draw this line to the midpoint along the diameter so that I can use the auto path feature to automatically calculate my fillet to the top. So I'm going to go to x minus 1.5. Now again using the auto path feature I'm going to do the corner radius. So I'm going to finish my element going in this direction and the only thing I know here is my start point and the angle of the line. I'm going to change my fillet radius to 0.500 and then select a line going up. And again I'm going to draw this to the midpoint of the face. So I'm going to input my end point and the angle of the line and select auto path. And again, the auto path feature within the sketchpad has calculated the tangency points for my radius. Now I'm going to come up and do the last chamfer of the line. So I'm going to select an element coming up. And I do not know the intersecting point of the angle. So I'm going to let auto path calculate that. So I'm going to start at minus three and two and a quarter and select polar and just give it the angle of the line. And now since I don't have a fillet in here, I'm going to just select the element that goes in this direction. So I can give it my end point and the angle of the line. Once auto path is selected, the software automatically calculates the starting point along the intersecting of these two points. So using a mixture of the auto path features for auto calculation and the direct inputs, we've selected a contour that we can now machine through the sketchpad.